A situated simulation is a type of mobile augmented reality where you, on the phone screen and in the same perspective, can view other versions of your surroundings. An early example of a situated simulation is a reconstruction of the original Mission Dolores, the oldest building in San Francisco. A more extensive simulation is a reconstruction of the Usaberg Viking ship as it might have looked just before the grave mound above it was erected. This sitsim also included access to detailed views of scanned artifacts from the rich findings. With a sitsim of the Parthenon on the Acropolis in Athens, transparency was used to view hidden inner details of the reconstructed temple. Women carrying ritual equipment. The tall object held by the first woman is an incense burner, a common feature of sacrifices. An overlay was used to mark and explain architectural elements of the original construction. Two new historical sitsims have recently been designed and tested in Rome, Forum Lulium and Temple of the Deified Julius Caesar. These sitsims have new features. They introduced access to external web resources via an internal browser. Also new is the user's ability to produce and place their own links containing notes and online material. Testing and user evaluation with students of classical studies in both Athens and Rome gave excellent feedback. For visitors, the Roman Forum is both a complex and confusing place. The buildings and historically important events that took place here are difficult to imagine. When recreating the Temple of Julius Caesar in the Forum, the project wanted to also display events and actions in addition to the buildings. After being informed about the altar in front of the temple, one can experience the historic events that took place 15 years earlier. In the front of the podium is a hemicycle containing a cylindric altar which was erected on the spot where Julius Caesar was cremated after the Ides of March in 44 BC. As the whole scene changes to a dark evening, you hear the roar of a crowd arriving at the other side of the forum. When turning towards the Capitoline Hill, you see two figures on the speaker's platform. Above the crowd, rotating on a wooden pole, is a wax copy of Caesar's beaten body. And below, Mark Antony performs the dictator's eulogy. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their bones, so let it be with Caesar. A few hours later, the crowd created a pyre on the opposite side of the forum. Here, Caesar's body was cremated, on the exact spot where the altar later was erected, and where Emperor Augustus, Caesar's grand-nephew, built the temple in 29 BC. It's about rhetoric and conventions, finding and suggesting the inventory of new digital genres. With improved hardware and creative research, there's a lot of expressive potential here, particularly in the combination of the virtual and the real. 